uh, from the stock market to uh, the world of entrepreneurship. Nigeria's infrastructure technology company, InterSwitch, was judged the master entrepreneur winner of the EY Entrepreneur of the Year Award 2023 West Africa, held on Thursday in Lagos. InterSwitch will represent Nigeria and West Africa in June in Monte Carlo, Monaco, at the Global Entrepreneur Awards event. Our other winners at Thursday's event include Narametrics Financials, Right Foods, Britannia, U, and Providos Bank, among others. And I'm speaking to the rising level of innovation, creativity, and originality of Nigeria's entrepreneur was the Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment, Otumba Adeni Adebayo, as well as the West Africa Regional Managing Partner at EUI, Anthony Uputa. I'd like to acknowledge the lofty height attained with the EY World Entrepreneur of the Year Award. The purpose of tonight's program aligns with the vision of the Federal Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment for Nigeria to promote economic growth, create jobs and generate wealth. Entrepreneurs and business owners play a major role in the economic development of our country and this award comes at the perfect time because conversations persist about the potential and critical role they play in developing new strategies to aid Nigeria's sustainable growth and socio-economic development. I believe it provides the right platform to highlight the difference entrepreneurs make in their chosen fields of endeavor, driving their ideas and visions into reality. Furthermore, their fresh thinking and hard work create the required positive socio-economic change, bringing services and products to the market as well as creating job opportunities and wealth. The benefits of the program are vast and will go a long way towards raising the profile of Nigerian companies and teams, including gaining national and international recognition for their accomplishments and, fight and shining a positive light on the business environment in Nigeria and West Africa. I would like to take this opportunity to invite EY to participate in our Nigeria Jubilee Fellows Program, the NJFP. The NJFP is a nationwide youth employment initiative backed by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP. It was launched by President Buhari in 2021 and annually will provide 20,000 young Nigerians with one year's paid work placement in private and public sector organizations. This program, which is currently designed to run over five years, is more than just for work experience. It is a fellowship that equips participants with the skills they need to succeed in life. I believe EY and the entrepreneur finalists of this award program can provide the enabling environment to pass the baton to the youth, as well as bridge the youth unemployment gap, which continues to be one of the most ardent challenges facing Nigeria today. We need the support of the private sector to provide work placement opportunities, mentorship and funding for it to succeed. It is an honor to celebrate the seven shortlisted top finalists in both the emerging and master entrepreneur categories. It is also commendable to note the gender inclusiveness of the program. You are all true change agents in our country and have been recognized for your hard work and commitment to value addition for social economic gains. I congratulate the award winners in advance and wish you all the very best of luck. The EY Entrepreneur of the Year actually started a couple of years ago uh, in 1986 in, in the US. And as I said, it was about recognizing that spirit of enterprise that individuals, ladies, gentlemen, who better their vision nurtured that vision into reality, and then created businesses that have changed uh, lives, impacted societies and countries. And very quickly, in line with the American spirit, in 1986, it started with one country, one city. And quickly, by 1987, 11 cities were carrying out the same uh, entrepreneur of the year. It soon became clear by 1993 that it was an idea that could not just be contained in the US, and it went international. Such by 1993, the Entrepreneur of the Year Award had become an annual event cutting across different countries and cities. And today, as we stand, there are 145 cities 
that hold the EY Entrepreneur of the Year Award across 60 countries in the globe. With this large spread, thank you. With this large spread, it quickly became clear to EY that we could no longer hold this at just the country level. And in 2000, we started what is called the World Entrepreneur of the Year. And in this situation, as mentioned by Bosin earlier, there are usually two categories to the event. You have the emerging and you have the masters. So what has then happened is that across the 60 countries, each winner in the masters category gets to go compete with peers in many respects in an annual event that happens in Monaco and then one is chosen as indeed the World Entrepreneur of the Year. This is a unique and global uh, brand. I think, I dare say, it's one of its kind. We, there are not many of such business-oriented awards that, that recognize that spirit of enterprise. And today, we in Nigeria, be, with our irrepressible and indomitable spirit, it was only a question of time before the Entrepreneur of the Year would birth on our shores. And in 2011, that is just what happened. And we had our maiden events, and since then, it has happened annually, except for uh, 2021 and 2022, because of all the lockdowns and issues we didn't hold it. And we've indeed had people who have then moved, finalists in our master's categories that have gone to compete uh, at the World Entrepreneur.